Make sure he knows you're there, just so he doesn't buck. And just stand on the panels on top of them. Or you can, it makes it easier if you're standing on the panels on the back side, on the side of your tail. That way you can, if he bucks in there, you're not, he's not gonna knock you off down in there. And just adjust your rope, make sure it's right. Um, obviously bigger bull, body needs to be smaller. And I always just put it, put the tail in my mouth. It's, I mean, it ain't, it ain't gonna kill you. Might get something in your mouth you don't like, but put it in your mouth and just fight that down, pull that out. And it, I mean, I don't know that it really matters. Everybody always says, oh, well, I gotta have my bell in the front or I gotta have my bell in the back. Not really that much difference, um, as long as it stays under the bull and not on his side. You never want your bell to come up on the side. It's uh, a spot where you can get your spur caught in and get your spur caught in your bell loop. It's never a good thing.